Subscribe to Rajshree Food and click on the bell icon for more updates. Diwali is coming up and I'm quite adamant to stick to the traditions during this festival. So today I'm going to be showing you a quintessential Indian sweet. Hello and welcome to Rajshree Food. I'm your host Ruchi Bharani and today let's make besan barfi. So first, I'm going to start with heating some ghee. I have a cup of ghee over here. The ghee is melted and now into this I'm going to add one and a half cup of besan or gram flour. Let's give this a mix. Make sure you break all the lumps. You'll have to be a little patient and keep stirring continuously because there are chances that it's going to burn. After cooking the besan or the gram flour for 2 minutes in the ghee, I'm going to add in 4 tablespoons of rava. Roast the rava well with the besan. Keep stirring over this continuously because this is going to take at least a good 15 to 20 minutes to roast. So 15 to 20 minutes are up and it's nicely roasted and the color is also slightly changed and it's become light and fluffy and airy. So now I'm going to remove this in a bowl and let it cool down for at least 5 to 6 minutes. So let's turn off the flame. Let's get it out in this bowl. You will also know when to stop because you'll get a nice toasted and roasted aroma and it really really smells good. Let's cool this down for 5 to 6 minutes before we add the sugar. This is cooled down quite a bit and it's thickened as well. If you add the sugar while it's really hot, there are chances that the sugar is going to melt. So let it cool down for a bit and then now we're going to add in the sugar and the cardamom powder. Let's add in a teaspoon of cardamom powder next i'm going to add in one and a half cup that is equal quantity of the uh, gram flour that i've taken of powdered sugar and make sure you sieve it with a very fine sieve give this a mix The sugar is nicely mixed and now to set this I'm going to remove it in a grease tray. So I've just greased this tray with ghee. Let's empty this mixture into the tray. Now let's evenly spread this. Smoothen it out. Just tap it lightly to remove any kind of air bubbles. And now I'm going to garnish this with some almond and pistachio flakes. Let's just cut it into pieces and then let it set for 2 hours and then unmold it. So I'm just going to make the markings either with a knife or a thin spatula. This is done. Needs to set for at least a good 2 hours and then enjoy this during this Diwali. Give this a try and wish you a very happy Diwali from the Rajshree team. Bye bye.